All right, guys. Uh, lesson 3.8 is going to be tables of exponential functions, too. So it's going a little deeper with these tables um, and including negatives in the X is basically is the new thing here for today. So you'll be given an exponential function of this. Remember, exponential means X is up in the power. And it will basically say make a table and make a graph. I'll make my table this way today. Okay, and it will say from negative two to two um, for your table. Okay, so if you start with zero, that's the easiest place to start. So six times two to the zero. Remember, anything to the zero power is one, so this is just six times one. <clears throat> okay, we plug in one, six times two to the one. It's just actually six times two is 12, and then six times two squared is actually six times four, 24. Okay, if you go backwards here, um, six times two to the negative one. Remember two to the negative one meant flip it over. It really means one over two to the one, or one over two, so really it's six times a half. If you cross cancel there, you're really just down to three and one. So really it's just three. And then if I do six times two and I plug in negative two like that, remember that meant six over one. And this is going to be one over two squared. Remember that. Okay. It's two to the negative two is one over two to the two. So really we're talking six over one times one over four. So you can cancel that down, divide by two. It's really three over two. All right. And then you're to graph that out. I'll graph this first one. I probably won't graph the second one just to make the video uh, not quite so long. Okay, it's a little tricky because we got to get up to 24 on our Y. So I'm probably going to count by like twos. I guess count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Okay, so at negative two, we're at three over two, which is just one and a half. So it's like maybe here, you know, a little below the two. At negative one, I'm up at three, which is here. Remember, I counted by twos. At zero, I'm up at six, two, four, six. At one, I'm way up at 12. And at two, I'm up at 24, way up at the top here. Notice it starts sharply rising. Okay, that's what these graphs are going to do. Exponential curves, they kind of flatten out on this backside, but they go up very steep over here. Okay, but it actually just kind of keeps getting flatter out here. It's never actually going to go below the x-axis, if you think about it, because you're just constantly dividing by two, actually. In this case, divide by two, I get down to six, I get down to three one and a half. If I kept dividing by two, it would keep getting smaller, but it would never uh, get to zero, honestly. So this line just hugs it here. Let's do one more uh, with a fraction here. It'll be negative two to two again. Do zero first is a very easy way to start. Three quarters of zero. Remember anything to the zero is one, so it's just four times one. Okay, and let's go up here, four over one times three over four for this one. It's actually just three, if you think about canceling there. And then four over one times three fourths squared. Remember that means do this, three fourths times three fourths. Four over one times nine sixteenths. This also cancels. So we're talking nine over four okay that's the positive so going down here in the negatives you can do the same thing uh four times three fourths to the negative one remember negative power means you flip her over so it's four over one times four thirds flip that over to the one power so really we're talking 16 thirds it's five and one third and then this last one four over one is going to be times three fourths to the negative two that's going to be four over one times four thirds squared okay i flip that make that positive two so we're talking four over one times four thirds times four thirds 
So what, 16 times four, 64 over nine, which is, man, nine times seven, seven and a ninth, I believe. Okay, so that's a little tricky getting those. Um, but you would graph that out then and see, this, uh, this graph is actually gonna be shrinking down like this. Okay, so make sure you graph it out accurately to get full credit. I just wanna save you some time and say, hey, if I, you guys would be able to graph this out and it would start up high here and get down to a low number here. You might wanna just change these to, to a mixed numbers, two and a quarter, okay, like that. Okay, get a hold of me if you have any questions.